Welcome back to the Leeds United save. We have the Champions League semi-final away from home. Second leg against Atletico Madrid. To come to you today, we also might well be ending the Premier League season. To, well, we will be ending the Premier League season today. Might well be happening prematurely as well. With defeats to Liverpool in the last game of the last episode. Despite Manchester United's loss against Manchester City, we missed out on the opportunity to close the gap. We could have if we'd have won every single game remaining this season and that last game against Liverpool, we'd have won the league on goal difference if Man United also won every single game they've got remaining from here on out. So that's a pain in the backside, really. We've got Everton to come. We've also got Brentford and Bournemouth to round out the Premier League season. If we'll play Atleti, we'll play Everton. If it looks very, very highly super... Fragilistic XP Aladosis unlikely that we're going to win the Premier League. Then we'll probably sim Brentford and Bournemouth and play the FA Cup final today as well with a view of having an, a Champions League final special tomorrow. Provided, of course, we do the job against Atletico Madrid away from home here in the next game. Thank you for your continued support in the comments section. Saying thank you to Jordan today, saying thank you to 889 today and to IB on the board behind me. Thank you very much indeed for your support. We'll See if my heart rate goes up or down during the course of a very stressful Champions League semi-final. But having a 3-1 first leg lead puts me in a promising position. We do indeed take a two-goal advantage into this second leg. Are they changing any players around? Why he and Dia on either side of the front line? Other than that, no. Exactly the same starting lineup, And I believe exactly the same bench as well. Atleti are as they were. We will be similar. As hopefully will be the scoreline. Will they play any different at home to how they did away? It was a very un-Diego Simeone-esque first leg from Atletico Madrid. Quite open at the back. And not necessarily as regimented and disciplined as you would have expected. But it is, of course, a video game and not in real life, so we can't necessarily expect it to be super realistic, especially when it's this particular game franchise, can we? Here is Adrian Rabiot losing out on possession to Rafinha. Alvarez will look here for Archie Gray. And we've got them on the back foot right from the off here. Somerville's pointing, trying to squeeze it in that gap. Somerville will get it. And here's Genie Ruter. There isn't Genie Ruter. All we need to do is just not lose. And we'll be perfectly fine and through to a Champions League final, which we believe is going to be against Manchester City. They won the first leg against Paris Saint-Germain by four goals to one. And if Paris turn that around at the Etihad, we'll be very, very surprised. Go on, Tech. On your left, from range. Oh, not bad. Javi Galan tore down the left-hand side throughout the entirety of the first leg. And he's doing so at the beginning of the second as well. I fancy him for shooting, though. Right. Okay. I've not even pressed tackle. I've just walked up. To be fair, he's kicked him in the ankles and then walked off with the ball. I didn't ask you to do that then. I didn't press a single bloody button. Bull idea from the spot for Atletico Madrid. Saved by Elamelier. Good. I'd have been annoyed if that had gone in because I didn't do that. Watch some score from the resultant corner anyway. Kefren Turan got their first goal in the first leg. Or well, only goal, should I say, actually, in the first leg. But he won't get one here. Bool Idea could still perhaps be on the score sheet. Or Eliwahi. Or Bool Idea. Uh, offside. Ref. You're in trouble now. He's in real trouble. He's gone. Martin Zubimendi. Walking wasn't particularly malicious it was from behind they're taking a striker off and bringing a central midfielder on uh, it's just gone from bad to worse from Atletico Madrid I think we'll be going through to the Champions League final it wasn't really in much doubt anyway and now against 10 men if I don't make it then I won't even play the rest of the games in this season I will just give up and go straight to the Cambridge save Molina Chased by Archie. Right. Chased by Archie Gray. Oh, it's going to fall very kindly. 
Terrible clearance from the defender. He might well have just aimed specifically for the Atleti man. Because I've won the header there and Martzen's nodded it down in exactly the same way that Vermeeren would have wanted to. Corner. Kefren Turan takes it short to Vermeeren and he's kicked it straight to the goalkeeper. Cheers then. Nil nil at half time then against the 10 men. They have still been pretty good in possession, Atleti, but let's be honest, they're not going through from here, are they? Milan van Evijk. Bye. Happy Galland couldn't deal with that. Fini's in. Van Evijk might be in. Tini Ruter's in the middle. Branco in the way. Time is very much running out for them now. Actually, not been that many chances in the game for either team. This is going to sit up nicely for Declan Rice to give that a very big whack. Jan Oblak equal to it, though. Do we try something similar again? I see the man on the edge of the box there. Might even be Declan Rice again. Help it on its way. It is Declan Rice again. Declan Rising, I think. Probably the best way to describe that. Always going wide. I think they're, I think they're resigned to their fate, don't you? Judging by the way they're playing the ball about right now. Branco might speed things up a little bit. And he's certainly going for it. He'll take the advantage. And Eliwa, he could try and find them a goal that would make things a little bit shaky in the final few minutes. But they're not going to get exactly what they need. Or even anywhere close to it. It's been a relatively... Not even relative. It's been a very comfortable second leg. Even prior, to be fair, to the red card. We weren't necessarily under that much threat. We're going to storm through to the Champions League final. Don't necessarily have the best of uh, records in finals so far in this save, though, do we? One Carabao Cup final lost, one FA Cup final lost, and one Community Shield victorious in. To be fair, the, vict the Community Shield victory did come against probable Champions League final opponents, Manchester City. So that's perhaps something to give us a little bit of faith. But we are through to the Champions League final with Leeds United. That will come to you tomorrow in a final special. Now we find out what the final league table is going to look like. First, we have to play Everton. Oh, look, it's Manchester City. What a surprise. Anticipated them probably doing a job over PSG again in that second leg. Which they didn't. Wow. Wow. PSG very nearly did turn around that Champions League 4-1 first leg deficit. Unfortunately for them, they couldn't keep a clean sheet away from home and that's what cost them in the end. Fair play for giving it a good old go. Everton, our next opponents then. Chimiti up top, Deli Alley in behind him at camp. Everton, three defeats and two draws in their last five, so they're not in great form. And, well, we aim to compound their misery at the moment, as our misery will probably be compounded by Manchester United also winning on this particular match day and us not getting ourselves a Premier League title in this save. But it is what it is. Declan Rice can come out for Alex Scott and we'll go again. Probably ball by Marks and two Van Nevi. All we can do is win all of our remaining games and hope that Man United mess up somewhere again. They lost to Manchester City. They've got Crystal Palace and Newcastle in their final two games. I believe this might actually be our game in hand. So winning this would be crucial. Actually, no, this is probably the the match day that they're playing on, isn't it? They play the day after this, I think, against Crystal Palace. Our game in hand is going to be the midweek one against bloody Brentford, isn't it? Who numerous times in numerous saves have been a bogey side. They could be the side to finally destroy our chances of a Premier League title. But... If we do our job in all three games, then maybe we will have the opportunity of lifting that trophy before the end of this save. A minute. I can't find a way past this Everton back line. Ruter on his left. Trubin is making stop after stop after stop. Please stop it. Oh. It's a nice through ball. It's a good goal by Everton. They take a 1-0 lead here. Things in the Premier League are not going according to plan for us right now at all, are they? Quickly played between the lines. I just, quite frankly, didn't react quickly enough. Just a turn, drive forwards, and then play the pass. That was a pretty simple one for Everton, that. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. 
Estequio and Forsen into John. Delivered well-ish. Ish being the keyword. There's an injury there for Archie Gray, which is not great. Melier with a very good stop. Did knock it back out into danger, which had me worried slightly, but we dealt with it. I'll be Debo if Archie Gray is injured long enough term to miss the Champions League final because he's been our Jamie Shackleton-esque player of this save, hasn't he? And it would be it would be a real crying shame if he's not able to play in the Champions League final for Leeds United, especially with him being Leeds' poster boy IRL. Win this, Genie. Trubin comes across and makes another stop. And still, we cannot score here against the Evertonians. Manchester City winning 1-0 against Brighton and Hove Albion, who are our FA Cup final opponents for, at the minute, what might actually end up being... Oh, Gini! A Premier League... Sorry, an FA Cup and Champions League final special tomorrow. We'll wait and see how things pan out, but I've got to score two goals here at least, otherwise... Our Premier League hopes are over now, and then it really will be FA Cup final played today. Lovely touch by Adley. Estikio. Chimiti with options. Adley. Decent stop by Melier. Corner for Everton, though. Looking to score a second. It was one Mersey side side yesterday. Got the result that put our Premier League title ambitions very much on not just the back foot, but we were practically horizontally lying on our backs, trying to maybe stand the most outside of chances of getting the opportunity to win the Premier League this season. Rafinha will turn inside the man and finish. It's 1-1. Defender came across, but you kind of know that Rafinha's going to turn onto his left, don't you, really? That's a bit of a given, and that defender didn't anticipate that. Overcommitted. And simple finish. Right. Now one more, please. Junior overlapping run. Two minutes added on. Deli Alley something. Not sure what. Deli Alley something. Junior Alvarez. It's Rafinha again. Always cutting back on that left. Alvarez. Somerville. Somerville. Somerville not. Give us a 2-1 lead. 1-1 one, one at the break. Average Allo's a bit quick. I can close him down now, I think. I've pressed B to get Ampadu to clear that ball. And he's just done a stand tackle in the middle of nowhere. And taken the man down. Chimiti buries it. 2-1 Everton. What is my life? Go on, Crescencio. Into that gap, lad. And Godfrey won't be able to deal with the agility. And Julian Alvarez is in. Julian Alvarez does what Julian Alvarez does, which is score goals in a Leeds United shirt. 2-2, game on again. We really are doing this the hard way, aren't we? If we are to do it. It's loose-ish from Godfrey. If Ambadu can win that header, which you're damn right he can. And Alvarez! Trubin with a save. Cleared away. Just a pop shot from the edge of the box that very nearly flew into the corner. Tele Ali. Back to Yassin Adli again. Find ourselves once more needing a single goal against the Merseyside opposition. A single goal that we now have. Chini Rutessa, 3-2. Home fans calling for the whistle. With Everton going backwards and sideways, it will come very shortly. Ref, do everybody in this stadium a favour, thank you. We win on our match day 36. Match days 37 and 8 yet to come. What's happened with Manchester United on this particular match day weekend against Crystal Palace, we don't yet know. The league table looks like this. They are four points clear of us with three points available for them. But I have six available. So if we beat Brentford and we beat Bournemouth. And if they draw against Newcastle, then we will win the league. Hi, Mark.
into Ty Stalinga. This one not played. Oh, he's nutmeg. He's genuinely nutmegged. And Badu there. This one not played in front of the uh, home Elland Road faithful. Having to do the business away from home today if we can. Jeannie Ruter is available at the back post. And Jeannie Ruter is there. But the header goes over the top of the bar. If we draw this, then we have to hope that Manchester United lose on the final day at home against Newcastle. Which is unlikely. But if we win this, then Manchester United can draw with Newcastle, which is entirely possible. And we could still win the title on the final day if we can beat Bournemouth as well. We live in hope. We've got to win this one first. So let's take it one game at a time, shall we? Before we concentrate on what Man United are going to do in their game, we've got to do our business first. Martin getting away down the left-hand side here. Alvarez is with me. Not quite going to be able to dink it to him. I can play it on the floor. And Julian Alvarez with a finesse shot. Trait kicks it straight against Christopher Ayer. Get there. Well in. Alvarez is away. Go on, Julian Alvarez. 1-0 leads. Somerville. Alvarez. Somerville again. Good agility. Look for the far corner. Hoo-wee! What a goal that would have been. Looked like it might just have snuck in that far corner for a moment. By a little bit too high and wide. Fran Garcia and Yusuf. Back to Tadebo. Calhoun. And the long way around. De Vrie. Switching play from one flank to another here. Brentford, no luck down the left. How about down the right? Naga. Could deliver. Doesn't. Back to Christophe Rayer. Carew now not forward through the middle because he's running around trying to do a bit of defending. Which means I don't really have that focal point going forward on the counter when I might well need it. Joshua Zerkzy. How many minutes added on, ref? Three. It's enough. Xerxy, I'm up. Good block. Ampadu and ball kept in play by Martson. Those last few moments were nervy. Very nervy. All it takes is one mistake. One misplaced pass, one missed tackle, one dodgy piece of gameplay, and they equalise. In the end, they do not. Thank the Lord. We take a 1 0 win back north from London to Leeds and we head to the final day of the Premier League season knowing that a win gives us a great chance of winning the league however we are reliant upon Newcastle United doing something against Man U if they do and they beat them or even hold them to a draw and we can win we'll win the league today if Newcastle United win and Chelsea lose and Newcastle will do it by two goals either way then they might even get into fifth although Chelsea have Everton away here Man United as we've said before are at home to Newcastle uh, Spurs in fourth are facing Liverpool at Anfield to try and solidify in the top four Chelsea probably favourites there for that position at the bottom end of the table Burnley already relegated Nottingham Forest can survive they are away from home against Aston Villa in 15th Bournemouth face me so I could relegate Bournemouth and win the league in the same day but will it happen well let's go and find out shall we I don't care about you guys being unsettled that is not on my radar right now Bournemouth away let's see what their starting lineup looks like the league table there is just a single point in it Perra up top they've lost four of their last five Anthony Lopez in goal, Wagner, Mepham, Lenormand, Sola, Dango, Fabian Ruiz, Onya Dicker, Sinistera, former Leeds man, Udrogo and Perra. On the bench, Enna Zunel, Curtis Jones, Matty Cash, some good players on the bench. Keith Moore back from his loan spell at Ipswich. It's now or never, it's do or die, it's Prem or bust. Step in please, well in deck. A point for us is enough to win the league on goal difference if Newcastle beats Manchester United. But we need Man United to draw at best and for us to win 
And we are doing our bit. And a lot of it this season is thanks to that man. Watara. Away. No news of any Manchester United or Newcastle United goals popped up for me yet. If there are any, I shall let you know. Then normal. On your dicker. Sinistera. Watara even. Melier at full stretch. They're trying to ruin our day, Bournemouth. Trying to make their day, Bournemouth. A win for them could keep them up. I think they were two points from safety, though, so they do need the dub. And your dicker doing really well. Bournemouth have been very, very good this season in real life and certainly not threatened relegation at all. What Aston Villa are doing in 15th in this particular save as well, I've absolutely no idea. Bournemouth fans are so loud in game, it's actually silly, aren't they? Van Nevite. And Rafinha. Van Nevite's gone again. Still there. Alvarez. Good block by Lenormand. Probably quite highly rated, actually, right now, Robin Lenormand. 85, 86, maybe, by this point in a save. Season 4. Does grow very well. That's a heavy touch by Kai Wagner, but I can't quite get there. Oh, that's very poor, however, from the Bournemouth bat line. Rafinha always going to turn inside. On to the left, Anthony Lopez denies Declan Rice. Wadrogo goes off as they make another change. It's Ruben Neves that's come on. Archie bloody grey. Right place, right time, bullet header. Still no news of anything happening in the Manchester United-Newcastle United game. So, if it's still nil-nil, because we've not heard anything, then that goal wins us the league. And it would be very apt if it is Archie Gray to do so. Still no news of any other results. So we're very much in the dark here as to whether with half an hour left in the game, we're winning the league or not. Actually, it wasn't Ruben Neves that came on for them. It was João Neves. Rafinha looking for the run. Martini Ruter, but Chris Mepham's in the way. Kai Wagner very much flattens. Genie in the process. Less than 30 to go. We very much are doing our now. Archie Gray is being instrumental in this, isn't he? Genie Ruter. There's a third. Arbit is done. Arbit is very, very much done. But a Newcastle doing theirs. Fabian well in Van Evoy. He's kind of aiming for Ben White there, but never mind. Watara. Back to Onya Dicker. Ben White's in the way. Somerville gets that to Genie. Still nothing. Still absolutely nothing. Oh, mate! What a goal that would have been. Still no news whatsoever. Go on, Raffy boy! It does hit the net, but from behind off the advertising hoardings. And then it's Unal again. They're not going to overturn the scoreline, and goal difference doesn't matter. It's purely about the overall result. It's just a matter of time now, isn't it? Seven minutes or so to go in the game. I mean, brave or stupid, you tell me, going for that from there. And then Ormond. I mean, why not on the final day when you've got literally nothing to lose? They've got, already lost their Premier League status here, Bournemouth. We are relegating them. But are we doing it as league champions? Oh. A pop-up for the first time. Everton nil, Chelsea 2. That's the only goal update we've had all game. It's not one that I give any poops about whatsoever. My heart. It felt like it It rised. Rised? Rose? Rose. Well, I'm just English. Do you speak it? Felt like it rose. You guys will be able to tell. I'll tell in editing. Three minutes to go. Then out. We'll find out via a cutscene whether we have or have not won the Premier League. The answer will be coming to us very soon indeed. Bournemouth have a late free kick here at the Vitality Stadium. But... Oh, man. Fabian Ruiz delivers. Archie Gray clears. Somerville just runs into it. And... 
judging by those scenes, or rather the lack of. One imagines that Manchester United have just won the Premier League by a single point. That point was that late, late fourth goal for Liverpool. Cody Hakpo has single-handedly denied us the Premier League title, it seems. Tears everywhere. Manchester United 2, Newcastle United nil at Old Trafford. We finished second in the Premier League after finishing third last year. It is not a Premier League title winning campaign this season. The one extra point. 23 games won each. They just so happens to draw one more. If we'd have... If we'd have just been able to hold on to the 3-3 we had against Liverpool. Then we'd have won the league on goal difference. It was not to be for us today. Unfortunately. Many sads. Tomorrow though. An FA Cup final and Champions League final. Double header special. We can still do a double this season. Question is. Will we? I don't know. You will find out tomorrow. Do join me for it. I apologise. We weren't able to win the Premier League with Leeds in this save. It just wasn't meant to be. But you can't win everything. And this has never been the channel where we force winning everything. We either win or we don't. This time we didn't. Tomorrow we will. I'll see you then.